Hey everyone, welcome to Binge Bar. Today we're going to be talking about the history and milestones of the former MLS club Miami Fusion. This is part of a series where we go over everything you need to know in 5 minutes or less. So let's begin. In 1997, Major League Soccer announced a South Florida team as one of its two expansions. Along with the Chicago Fire, Miami businessman Ken Horowitz served as owner and was the first new investor to join Major League Soccer since its founding in 1995. The Miami Fusion debuted in the 1998 MLS season, playing in Lockhart Stadium, the league's first soccer-specific stadium. The Fusion started their inaugural season strong. Led by star midfielder Carlos Valderrama, the Fusion drew over 20,000 to their very first game at Lockhart Stadium against DC United, showing off all of the possibilities of a more intimate venue designed specifically for soccer only. However, fan interest diminished through the year along with the team's mediocre performance on the field. After Game 19, the Fusion ended up replacing their head coach at the time with Evo Wartman. And this was a great move for the club because they even managed to get a hold of a playoff spot. They later went on to lose to DC United, and by the end of the year, their average attendance had gone from 20,000 to an abysmal 10,284. The club continued to struggle both on and off the field for the next two seasons. After years of disagreement, the commissioner traded Carlos Valderrama back to Tampa Bay in 1999 and the team replaced head coach Eva Warman with Ray Hudson mid-season in 2000. After the 2000 season, the club made a dramatic improvement in 2001, winning the Supporters' Shield and the best regular season performance and advancing to the league semifinals. Attendance also improved, but still remained fourth worst in the league with an average of 11,000. In the front office, owner Ken Horowitz struggled with finances. He, along with the owners of the New England Revolution and the Metro Stars, formed a faction among MLS owners who wanted to keep spending down. Lamar Hunt and Philip Anschutz were opposed to this, as they wished to invest in a long-term development. Despite the team's improvements though, by the end of the 2001 season, not only did they have the lowest season ticket sales, but they also had the lowest revenues from sponsors. Major League Soccer had reportedly lost an estimated $250 million during its first five years. The league's poor financial condition forced the MLS to stop the bleeding right away. During the winter break between 2000 and 2001, Reports began circulating that the MLS was considering trimming the league from 12 teams back to only 10. And with that rumor came many more rumors. One of the rumors included that the league might pull the plug on the Fusion. Even though the Fusion had a low-cost stadium lease and an improved performance in 2001 with increased fan attendance. It was in January of 2002 that the MLS announced that it had decided to contract the two Florida franchises, being of course the Fusion and the Tampa Bay Mutiny. Both teams were withdrawn from the league, ceased operations, and then folded. Major League Soccer's contraction reduced the league from 12 to 10 teams. The league had chosen to fold the Fusion, in part because the team's ownership reportedly lacked financial resources, had been trying to run the Fusion on a bare minimum budget, and had asked the league to pay for some of the club's expenses. Commissioner Garber stated that the Fusion had the lowest revenue in the league, due to fewer season tickets and almost no revenue at all from corporate sponsorships. The Miami ownership had reportedly experienced $15 million in operating losses since Miami joined the league. The Fusion's owner, Ken Horowitz, described several difficulties with operating an MLS soccer franchise in South Florida. Many Miami residents were not originally from the area and didn't even identify with and even support local sports teams. On top of all this, the MLS season is in the summer, which is different from the youth soccer season, making it very difficult to draw youth soccer teams along with younger crowds to attend Fusion matches. There were also a lot of issues with local summertime heat and rain. After all this, finally, Horowitz identified the lack of corporate support for his team. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't tell David Beckham that. And to continue the dream of soccer in Miami, on April 2nd, 2015, a new club with the name Miami Fusion FC joined the fourth tier National Premier Soccer League. And now time for five facts about the Miami Fusion. They had originally intended to play at the Orange Bowl Stadium in downtown Miami. They were runners up in the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup. Diego Serna is the top goal scorer in the Miami Fusion with 52 goals. Nick Ramondo was tied for the most clean sheets in goals with seven. Beckham is trying to revitalize a team in Miami called Inter Miami that should begin play in 2021. Now we haven't done the five minutes or less for MLS or NHL in a very long time. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more content, and comment below what team you would like to see us do next. Thank you. We'll see you next time.